So this is another view of that pond. Um, Dad just noticed a big rotten log. Looks like Mr. Bear or Mrs. Bear. Either way, was looking for a snack. Came into this one too. So that's pretty cool. Lots of bears around this year, too many. Um, a house in Barrie was destroyed by a bear this recently. Uh, a few people in Guelph, southwestern Ontario, have been mauled by bears. And yeah, it's gotten to be pretty bad this year. There's been more calls this year, apparently, to people for our ministries for bear control or nuisance bears and that's all just the way it goes I guess this year they're starting to be more and more so anyways we'll carry on have a good one hey guys we're just up the road from where we uh, parked the truck saw that one beaver dam or beaver pond and just want to show you all these piles are just huge with firewood waiting for me to come get it and dad just pointed out to me there's our wolf track that one here almost perfect step that one there so that's cool Lots of sign of wolves anyways. Saw some bear tracks not too long ago. And tons of firewood. And that's, there's a six foot piece. I know that's poplar, but still, there's a piece that I don't even have to cut, just pick up and throw it in the truck. There's more, like, how awesome is that? I guess in some ways we all have our lucky things and have our bad lucks. Um, this would be my lucky thing, I guess. Struggle to get firewood. It is pretty soppy, wet in here, and I mean it hasn't rained for a while, so that just goes to show that it is really wet up here. But still, I got loads of firewood. Here's another track right there. Not sure how well you can see it, but. Nice, 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 nice. So I'll turn you off and we'll see what else we can find. Keep going. Have a good. We're just still out scouting. Coming up to another big pile of wood here on the left. We thought maybe because there's a ridge on the right. Or, sorry, left, and a ridge on the right. We thought a bait pile in the center might not be a bad idea. Maybe you guys can tell me what you think. But, yeah, bait pile would be for wolves and coyotes, foxes. This big clear cut, cleared over area should be good for all that. Lots of moose sign in and around. There's a big stack of wood just coming and cut her up. But we'll see what else we can find while we're hiking along. along. A big pile of birch. That's a good firewood. I even like there's pieces. Don't even have to cut them to put them in my truck. Just come in, pick them up, and haul ass out. Coming to another Y in the road as we walk along here. This time we're gonna go left because I don't feel like walking up the big hill right now. And it just goes back, tracks back towards where we came anyways, so. We'll 
head up further along the other trail our road you can see it's been washed out yeah it's a good thing we got the gps going then uh we can mark the trail like that joe yeah and then we know where we're where the trail is come this winter we can look it up on the map cool we'll carry on i'll turn you back on if we find anything interesting there's a great big patch of pines that they left here actually and i'll leave you on until we get there because it looks like it might be a decent spot for a bait pile i think it's just a big loop there's some moose tracks so i knew they logged back here i was expecting to see a lot of wood gone a lot of habitat gone but i guess that's the way it goes we need wood so yeah that would be a good spot for a bait pile all those pines spruce balsam a little bit of everything cool Okay, we'll turn you back on later. Came across another set of tracks there, guys. I'm not sure what that one would be. It's uh, possibly a fox. We're still just carrying on. Um, still on the logging road. They've cleared a half of a lot of wood out of here. But that's okay. We're going to see where the trails lead and see what we can't find came to another Y here uh, I'm not sure which way we're gonna go yet but we'll figure that out okay hey guys we just came to this big marsh um, there's a beaver hut right there in the center of it there isn't much water left here we're assuming that the beavers are long gone um, I'd have to guess there's probably muskrat around. And a pissed off squirrel. But that's his malfunction. Um, but yeah, we're just taking a look around. There's a bit of rock. You can see that rock on the far side where the water line used to be, which means there was a heck of a lot of water in here at one point in time. And the dam is busted open but the creek does continue on. Dad's just checking out the pond, or the dam. And it would, goes up around the corner that way. So I'd assume there'd be a few muskrats around here. There's still a bit of water. Um, I'm not sure how many beavers I'd actually find in here, but Bet you would be a decent place for otters and mink as well. Martin in that old bush on the far side. So, that's cool. Guess we'll carry on and start heading back to the truck. We're going to take another trail part way up. See where it leads. Maybe. <laughs> and if we see anything else that's interesting, we'll turn you back on. But, that's our... Big marsh. Dried out marsh. Okay, have a good one. So we're just come up. We're still at this big marsh. And uh, Dad just pointed out some turds. There's a set there. Another set there. Almost looks like fox. An old one and a newer one. Yeah. Well, there's still... Both pretty old, but they're yeah, still two sets. So we'll carry on and see what else we can't find on our way back. So we're walking in the middle of nowhere, and Joel spotted something on the ground, half buried, and he's gonna pick it up there now. And look at that, he saw he found a train. 
and I think he's going to take it with us. He's got two nice hooks, one each end, and away we go.